Dylan? You okay, buddy? I just... I don't get the whole girls thing. Oh. Girls, yeah. Yeah, that could be tricky. But you know what could be really good in explaining that department? Your dad. Let me go grab him. No, no, Brad. I just want to talk to you about this. Just you, Brad, please. Me? You sure you don't want to talk to your dad? Oh, well, girls, okay. Huh. Um, all right, the girl talk. Um, you know, boys have a, a dingle, right? And girls have a hoo-hoo or a Brad, wham-wham. I already know about that stuff. You do? Yes, from school, and it's gross. Perfect. I just want to know what to do if I, you know, I like somebody. Oh, right, well, you want to become her friend first. You want to be that one that she confides in, that she tells you about all of her problems with the guys she's actually dating. Got it. It's called the friend zone. It's where we Whitaker men thrive. We're the best in the biz. <laughs> yeah. Here we are in a wild frontier, full of majestic pines, and you two numb nuts are sorting through a bunch of dried twigs on a Rite Aid parking lot. Hey, you just can't go out on public land and cut down a tree, Dad. Dusty, we are the public. We own those trees. <sighs> oh, I get it. You need to ask Kodad for permission. Oh, shut up. I know what you're trying to do. And what am I doing? You're trying to make it look like I can't make a move without checking in with Brad first. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Am I right about that? Huh? <laughs> yeah. We own the paint. Uh, sure, we're gonna lose some. Doesn't matter. We're gonna lose a lot. I'll be frank. Well, what do you know? A lot of tears. Brad's having that nitty gritty talk for you. Tear soaked pillow. Must be nice yeah, to have right. someone handle the tough stuff, huh? Uh, and eventually, you'll keep in touch. You, you might even be invited to their wedding. And their dad's like, Brad, what are you doing here? Teresa never talks about you. And you're like, I'm invited. And he's like, I wonder about that, and you show them the proof. Always bring the wedding invite with you, and they can't kick you out. Okay. But you'll be sad ultimately knowing that she's not with you, and you want to prepare yourself with like a mixtape of sad songs. Anything from Chicago. It's usually pretty good. If you leave me now, you take away the biggest part of me. I don't really know that song. Please don't go. Wait! No, no, no! Dylan? That is the worst advice anyone could give you. All right, listen to your dad, please. It's okay, Dad. We don't have to talk about it. No, 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 buddy, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. Look, hey, this stuff is all about confidence. You just gotta believe you're the best she's ever gonna find. All right, you believe that to your core, and she will too, I promise you. But what if she doesn't? Well, buddy, you can't be afraid of rejection. You'll never find love. You're too scared to put yourself out there. Hey, goggles? A mistletoe as you take it. You walk right up to her, you dangle this over her head, and then you slap your spaghetti suckers right on her. I, I don't know if that's appropriate. It's a time-honored holiday tradition, Mr. War, on Christmas. <laughs> then you give her a nice smack on the caboose and tell her what a lucky girl she is. No, I don't listen to that part, yeah, don't right? listen to Look that at me. Part. Look at me. You want to be like Brad and be in the friend zone? You want to be like Dad and get in the end zone? This worked for me when I was your age. You want to go for it, buddy? Come on. You can do this.